Hey you, didn't miss a day. I'm back on my walk. Significantly snow impaired, unfortunately. What you gonna do though? But I uh, just turned around down to the dead end and I'm coming back up. I'm gonna go to the house and I think I'm going to uh, do a little creative tinkering this morning before I settle back into job hunting. Um, <clears throat> tonight we got the uh, the D and D game, 9 p.m. Eastern. twitchtv slash gaming. Come check it out. I'm not going to be playing. Uh, I'm going to be watching. We're going to be doing the other the other side of the split of the party, and uh, I'm excited to see what they what the other guys get into. It's going to be super fun. Plus, one of my best friends in the whole wide world, uh, Chris. He's a he's going to be a guest character. And I'm super bummed that, well, not super bummed, but I was, you know, I'd like to play with him in there. Uh, but it's going to be fun to to see him get on stream and 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 play and be a part of the story. I think he's going to be great. I think that he was, I think he was made for this kind of stuff. And uh, I think he's going to be absolutely wonderful. Oh. How are you? You know, I all, all these videos, I never ask you how you're doing. Um, let me know in the comments if you if you are like one of those types of people who actually uses YouTube comments. Let me know how, you, how your day's been going. Did you get any snow off of this big, what is it, Izzy? Tropical, not tropical, it's normally a tropical storm down here in Georgia, but the snowstorm Izzy. Did you get anything off of it? Did you make snowmen? Hope you made a snowman. I didn't have enough to build a snowman. They didn't stick. But, you know. What you gonna do? Nothing. That's what you gonna do. <sighs> okay. So, um... I need some recommendations for a video editing software. Because I'm, I'm looking at chopping these up and dropping them on TikTok. And kind of editing out the uh, the parts in between. I've heard I like I don't want to toss a lot of money on it. I know that there's some pretty cool open source software. Um, I think Blender even does like video editing. But I don't know if uh, that might be a little option heavy. I've also heard DaVinci Resolve is pretty good. Let me know if there's a uh, if you have any recommendations for that. And holy cow, I feel like I've been learning a whole lot lately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this way. I'm gonna go this way. Let the wind get on the other side of my head and mess my hair up. I feel like I've been like investing in learning a lot of stuff. And uh, you know, like I've been learning, teaching myself game programming. And I've been teaching myself like uh, music composition with, uh, <laughs> that's weird. Oh wow, that's disgusting. Oh, there we go. I've been teaching myself music composition with the Famous Studio. And uh, I've been learning about social media and this, that, and the other. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, and now there's this like getting into video editing and editing uh, for YouTube. I want to learn how to make thumbnails, like decent thumbnails. And uh, I just like, it's, there's just a lot. There's a lot that I'd like to, uh, that I've been sinking time into learning. And I tell you, it's so refreshing, guys. I feel like I really got stagnant at my previous workplace. I was just kind of like grinding for that check and, you know, just putting in the hours getting paid which is nice i mean i'm not getting paid right now <clears throat> but it's like i don't know i feel like have you ever felt like you're just waiting for somebody to tell you what to do and i feel like i'm kind of my brain's kind of getting to a place where where it's like i'm not really i'm not really waiting for somebody to tell me what to do anymore i'm just like taking command of my own life and making my own decisions pass or fail I was researching uh, how to get your 
FCC drone license. I believe it was FCC 107 uh, drone license. And to pick up a drone and start doing drone videography and photography. I think that that could be really, like a really great little thing to do every once in a while on the side. Um, I don't know. And it's just like, the panic hasn't set in, you know, my my little nest egg is kind of slowly dwindling. We're, we're being pretty frugal and we already live pretty frugally. But, uh, you know, just like, there's like so much and I want to do and I want to do all the things. And I think about, am I spreading myself too thin? But then it's like, you know, forget spreading yourself too thin. Like you're, you're doing stuff. You're, you're getting out there. You're making it happen. You just need to start charging people for it. Um, I was learning about filing for an LLC and like I, I taught myself uh what was it like bookkeeping and uh and now I have like a proper set of books uh oh I got some loose roofing on my little my little car shed thing um yeah teaching myself bookkeeping and like really really figuring out like the the bits and bobs of uh of like independent business i guess maybe i need to figure out the actual term for that <laughs> but it's been uh it's been really great and uh it's been nice to to be passionate about stuff and to have the the freedom to pursue those passions uh what kind of, I don't know, what, what, what have you been passionate about? What have you been, uh, been like, really, really, like, just, just, I want to get it done, and I want to do that, I want to be that. What have you been, what have you been, like, hungering for? That's a, I don't know why I emphasize the hungering of that, but... <sighs> well, then I've also been, I've been looking into, uh, oh, wow, that was a sentence. I've also been looking into automation and figuring out how to, like, automate a lot of the small little stuff. You know, the posting to multiple accounts, the, the, you know, automatically grabbing video files and moving them from here to there and just kind of taking a lot of the busy work out of the busy work. And uh, that's been really enlightening. Man, there's a lot of opportunity. Okay, story time. We got a couple minutes. Um, well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we got a couple minutes. So I don't have, like, I, I'm pretty smart. I don't, I'm not like the smartest dude in the world, but generally speaking, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty cognizant of things. And like, I'm able to figure a lot of stuff out, like pretty easily. But I don't have a lot of formal education. Uh, my childhood situation wasn't that great. And uh, and so I, I ended up like getting, I wasn't kicked out of school. I just like wasn't enrolled in school. And as a, as a young kid, I was like, no school, man, that's awesome. This is the coolest thing in the world. And all my friends were like, oh man, you don't have to go to school. That was so cool. I wish I didn't have to go to school. Now I'm like, well, crap. Uh, so when I was, when I, you know, hit adulthood and, uh, got out on my own, I was like, well, but I don't know how to do anything. Um, and I don't have like an education what's going on, but it's like the internet was like fresh and I was, you know, a, a Netzian or whatever they liked to call them back then. So it's like, I could figure stuff out. You threw something in front of me, I could figure it out. It like, wasn't a problem. I just didn't have a lot of formal education. And so I like, I eventually went and got my GED and, uh, you know, I was really proud about that. I know that that's like the bottom of the barrel for a lot of folks, but you know, in my situation, it really meant a lot for me to, to actually push myself through that and, and accomplish that. But I feel like there's a lot of gaps in my knowledge sometimes. And I think honestly that like a lot of adults have these gaps in their knowledge where it's like they, uh, even if they've like already gone all the way through school, it's like you forget the stuff that you didn't care about. And so you're like, what are times tables sometimes? 
So anyway, so all of that to give context to uh, the fact that I, I spent a little time on Khan Academy. I was like, you know what? I could brush up. I could brush up on my skills. You know, if I feel like I'm missing out on some math that might help me uh, learn programming better. Yeah, this it's like they say you can't teach old dogs new tricks, but it's like I mean I can prove them wrong. Whatever, I'm a pretty smart guy. And so I was flipping through them, and I did a couple placement things or whatever, and found myself. And then for, for a couple of minutes, I was like, this is like kindergarten and like early math. I was like, I wonder, like, I should just go through this just like to see what it is. And so I like, I picked up the kindergartner and early math training course on Khan Academy. And I was just like flipping through all of these questions. I was just like super quick. I was like, I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty basic. You know, like this is, this is funny. <clears throat> and then I got like a decent way into it and I was like oh it was like starting to drum up memories because it's like of the stuff that I actually went to school for and I was like oh snap like this is only as far as I went um <laughs> I mean I obviously know more now but it's like it was just drumming up those memories and then I took the test at the end and I missed like three questions <laughs> it was so dumb it was it was because I was like I was flying through it so fast. I, I like didn't read the questions all the way and I did a subtraction instead of an addition. Like it was something really stupid because I just didn't read the weird word problems all the way. And I was just like, oh no, <laughs> I missed a question on a kindergarten <laughs> test. <laughs> oh, <sighs> but it'd be like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> but you know, tests aren't everything, you know, and I went, and I, I went back and I put in the research and I watched Khan's video. Thank you very much, Sal. Um, and I, and I can successfully and happily tell you that I completed the kindergarten and early math course in Khan Academy. So even if you fail questions, never give up never give up. Y'all be good.